Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install the updated version of EUP. It's updated around, I think, like 19, 18 days ago. But I thought I would come in here and make sure I do do a updated guide for you guys. This is going to be EUP version 9.3.1. There's not a major update, but it is pretty still important. And you can see there are a couple of new cool features as per usual with all EUP updates. The first thing you guys are going to want to do to install this is you're going to want to hit the first download link down in the description below. That'll bring you guys right here to the emergency uniforms pack, law and order, and then head down here and click download this file. I'm going to be showing you guys how to install this the manual way because it is, well, personally to me, I prefer it to using the Lenny's mod loader version because I don't like Lenny's mod loader because it confuses me with how my GTA 5 is laid out and I can't see the mods in the main directory. And also the fact that sometimes some mods are not compatible with it and it freaks out other mods like graphics mods. But that is personal preference and it's probably just because I'm pretty old hat with the way LSDFR is made and I like to stick with the roots and I prefer it that way because I like to know what is going in my game and how it's going in my game. So I'm gonna show you guys how to install the OIV. So hit download, click here and save it and then what you guys are going to want to do once it's done i'm going to cut back to you guys don't have to wait is i'm going to show you guys how to put it into your open iv okay so once your open iv is finished what you guys want to do is make sure that you click show in folder so you can see it in your file directory and now we're going to need to open up our open iv so grab your open iv and then go to windows and let it start up and once your OpenIV has started up and loaded your game content, you're gonna to wanna to hit this little button right here, which is Open Package Installer, and then grab your OIV and just drag and drop it to wherever you want to. I'm gonna put it on my desktop, for example. Then what you guys are gonna to wanna to do is from here, you're gonna to wanna to find your OIV, so here it is, and hit Open. And once you've hit Open, click Install, and then make sure you install it to your mods folder. If you do not install it to your mods folder, this is where things can go wrong. So always, no matter what you're doing, install it to your mods folder because that is where we have your second copy of files. So if anything does go wrong, you can always go outside of your mods folder and copy and paste the original files over. That is what it's for. So make sure you guys use it. Hit install, install to mods folder and confirm installation. And now I'm gonna cut back to once that's done. Great, so once your OpenIV is done, click close, and for that side of things, we are done. So now on to the next bit. So hit the next add link down on the description below. Keep your OpenIV open just for now, and that'll bring you guys right here to the EUP menu. And then you're going to want to head down here and click download this file, and agree and download, and click here. This is pretty much the same way you'd install a plugin, minus the kind of plugin aspect of it. It's pretty much the same thing so if you guys open it up you should be able to see if you go into files then you have more or less the exact same thing except this is a standalone plugin that does not need lspdfr to run as you can see it's not in the lspdfr folder so still this what you guys want to do is bring up your gta 5 main directory in your file explorer so for those of you guys on steam i'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now but for those of you guys on epic games and rockstar games your GTA 5 main directory and how to get to it will be down in the description below. So as I said, for those of you guys on Steam, go to whatever drive your Steam is installed on. Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. And that is where your GTA 5 will be. Unless you have it installed on a different drive, if you do, be sure to check that out. But for me, I have it in a custom directory. If you do have a custom directory, I can't exactly tell you where that is since it's custom. So just be sure to look around on your Steam app. But once you've got that, open up your GTA 5 main directory. Make sure it's the correct one with the mods, not the clean version. Grab your plugin and Raisin Native UI and simply drag and drop it into your game. And just like that, if you go into plugins and LSPDFR, here will be your normal plugins. And then here will be your EUP. So this will be one of the plugins that are needed to make sure you turn the setting on on Rage Plugin Hook to launch it from startup. Otherwise, you can press F4 and just click Start and then EUP and just click Tab and it should automatically get the EUP mod. But I'm going to quickly show you guys here so you don't have to do that. So double click on Rage Plugin Hook. 
and then make sure you guys i don't know why this is giving it to me again but what i'll do is i'll cut back to it so you get the little settings icon okay so once your gta 5 is started up like this hit the little settings icon your rage plugin hook thing should disappear and then it should reappear like this go to plugins load these plugins on startup and select make sure all of them are selected including your eup go to load all plugins and startup and then click save and launch obviously i don't want my game to start right now so i'm going to close that once you've done that we're going to move on to the next and final mod which is why i told you guys to keep this open it is going to be emergency uniforms pack serve and rescues this is for your fire and ems if you don't want fire and ems and things like that then i guess you don't have to install this but if you do then make sure you guys follow the next steps so install this one all you guys want to do is click down on this file make sure you're installing the oiv version for what i'm showing you guys how to install today click here but if you guys do want actually if you guys do want me to show you a video on how to install it with lenny's mod loader then do let me know and i will do it for you guys but hit save this one's a lot smaller than the previous oiv we installed so this should take just a couple of seconds to install so it really shouldn't take too long and once this is whilst this is installing i'm going to tell you guys please be sure to comment and subscribe and like this video i don't know why i said it in such a weird audio please be sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel and on this video if you want to show me a bit of love and support and also be able to check out the channel sponsor down in the description below which is called zap hosting where is where you can get a bunch of really really cool game servers including 5m and red m all the way to minecraft and dnd so it's a big variety so be sure to check them out down in the description below by clicking that link but now the oiv is done hit show in folder and once you've got it in your folder we're going to do the exact same thing as we saw in the previous oiv in fact i'm going to show you a different way of doing it which is a little bit quicker grab your oiv and literally just drag and drop it here and it'll pop up the menu automatically for you hit install install to mods folder and confirm installation and just like that your eup is now successfully installed into your game for your key bindings all you guys are going to want to do is hit f11 and that will be your eup menu in game so i hope you guys did find this video useful if you did please do like comment subscribe like i said just a second ago check out the channel sponsors that posting down in the description below to get your game servers even vps's as well so be sure to check them out and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers and goodbye